Hello, welcome guys to another video of CS Hobbyist. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use drawing tools in PowerPoint. So basically, drawing tools are uh, generally have to be used when uh, you draw need to draw something, some particular shape. Actually, most of the shape can be taken from internet, but uh, some shapes pertaining to your specific requirement, to your organization, your machinery or whatever, you need to draw it by yourself so drawing tools comes with handy so here we have this drawing tool uh, toolbar we have certain shapes certain basic shapes and uh, we have options to arrange them and we have options to format them to style them in whatever way we like so let's explore some uh, shapes here and let's see what we can achieve by the shapes so now as you can see we have some basic shapes classified into rectangles basic shapes arrows equations flowcharts star banners and callouts and action buttons so though the shapes looks limited but uh, they have uh, some features some properties to tweak and we can have uh, entirely different shapes than what we are looking here for example if we take this smiley face so it has a smiling face but we can make him sad by using this yellow box so almost every shape here has uh, some properties to tweak into it and suppose i choose this heart then uh, okay here we don't have any property to tweak into but mostly we have for these arrow charts as you can see there are three properties we can change we can by clicking on this yellow box we can uh, why it's not working should work uh, we can change this thickness and we get this i don't know what, what to call this but this is something different than what we initially had and see we can make it something like this it looks like uh, an t section in a pipeline and we can change so basically what i want to say we can change so many properties here and uh, get an entirely different shape so and if we don't have any shape that uh, you want to make so we can use this freeform to draw almost uh, any shape we want and uh, we have this curves also to draw curves and good thing here is these curves has a very good editing options we can edit the points here and these points are as good as editing in some professional software like arrow photoshop or something and you can have various options to edit the curve so other than exploring these basic shapes there are certain things that uh, quite help us to draw efficiently and fast and get us to make what we want to make first step for using the shape is is when you select a shape and you want to draw it on your slide it is what i use and i found it very useful that uh, it's better to double click on the slide to draw the shape for example if i take this oval shape here and as you can see we have no shape for drawing a circle we have this oval shape to draw a circle out of this oval shape you don't want to draw you don't want to draw it uh, you don't want to drag it and draw a circle because then making it making it perfectly circular you have to work out something so best thing is you select the shape from here and double click it so by default powerpoint uh, presents the shape in the aspect ratio it's meant to be for example if i choose some other shape like this uh, smiley face so it's better to double click and get it dra get it drawn and uh, to prevent this circle and all these faces from changing shape when we generally enlarge it or retract it is uh, right clicking on it size and position and locking the aspect ratio what it does it prevents us from by mistake uh, changing the aspect ratio when we use this edge points to make it large or small but still after Locking the aspect ratio, we can deform the shape by using these side, these uh, boxes on the sides of the shape, and we can elongate and do whatever you want. But uh, 
restriction of changing the aspect ratio by this box on the edges is restricted by this shape option locking the aspect ratio so one tip was to double click on the slide to draw a shape and another feature we going to use and it's very useful is grouping the shape so if i want to merge i want to make something with a heart shape on the top and say a mickey mouse shape that's that's good idea so i have this face here and this kind of ears so actually i can no outline i can mix these two shapes to make one shape and for that i select the first shape and another one right click and group it so now i have a combined shape of something that we didn't have earlier and i just made the shape a uh, good thing about this is you can still change the properties of the individual shape you can move them so we'll get the, the desired shape you want so other than grouping we have a feature here arrange so basically when you uh, right click on the shape you get the option bring it to front bring it to back basically that is used to bring a shape on top of some other or bringing it back so actually these here are quick quick tool options uh, detail tool options can be achieved from going to selection pane and all the faces all the shapes that you drawn here are visible here and you can see that which shape is above what so this smiley face 8 is top of the is, is on the top of the every shape we have drawn here and uh, we can check it by let me change its color so if i place it anywhere it will be on the top but if i want this freeform fold to be on the top so i can just move it upwards and now you can see it's on the top so basically you can arrange all the shapes available in a slide to you in the order you want to be want them to be layered so uh, we we just seen the arranging option and then there's a usual option to format the shape uh, we can fill it with something we can apply gradient we can apply texture to it and then we have the outline options we can have weight of the outline, outlines making them thicker or whatever and all the usual options we can make it dash dotted or whatever so uh, these are basic tips of using shapes and you just keep on trying with these shapes and uh, actually we can make a lot of things using shape these shapes though the shapes look the limited because uh, they are limited but uh, the properties we can tweak them make them really useful and uh, we don't know what all things we can achieve from these shapes so that's for the basic uh, introduction to shapes and how to use them uh, as, as you can see in the video next to it i've drawn this water cycle uh, animation and through those this is done by using these basic shapes only so uh, hope you enjoy the video and learn a bit about the uh, basics drawing tools in powerpoint so thanks for watching